welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina. If you are new here for today's video, I am going to be dyeing my hair copper, red, auburn, whatever you call it. Um, it's like a darker copper. It's not like like a ginger, if that makes sense. I'm kind of scared because this is the first time I've ever tried this hair color out. And I do have pre-existing dark hair dye on my hair. It's mostly faded out by now, but I do still have that color because this all used to be um, blonde and I went over it with dark permanent hair color. So I'm kind of scared I'm gonna fry my like underneath hair off. So I'm gonna be very careful. I'm only gonna lighten it just a little bit to get the color off um, with bleach. Let's just get started so we can get it over with because it's already 10.30. I'm probably not gonna be done until 2 a.m. I might pick it up tomorrow morning, honestly, because I'm gonna be too tired to stay awake, I know. So I went to Sally's and I got a bowl because I don't know where my bowl went. I use a dummy all the time and I feel like because I haven't dyed it in a while, I haven't got one of these. So I'm gonna use that. Um, the colors I am using, sorry, I also got a brush. Matching colors, it's cute. I'm going to be using light copper blonde, medium copper blonde, and then medium intense red blonde. So I'm going to mix these together to make my hair. I thought three would be enough because my hair is long, but it has a lot of layers, so it should be enough. I also have an extra one in case I need an extra one. Um, and I'll probably add in another medium copper blonde. Or sorry, a medium intense red blonde. everywhere and I can't find my gloves. So instead I have these shower packs or shower packs, shower caps in these little packs <laughs> that my mom takes from the hotel sometimes. So I have like three of those. I'm gonna use one to actually like hold in the heat when I'm done. Um and then use the other two to kind of just wrap my hand around and hope that I just don't get chemical burns. That's, that'll work. I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. It's probably like one to one ratio. Or I eyeball it. Either one. And just mix till you get like a toothpaste, a little less dense than toothpaste consistency. So I'm gonna mix that. I'll be right back. So I realized I didn't record this part like when I was bleaching my hair. But basically what happened was I ran out of bleach <laughs> halfway through my hair. So I only got to bleach the bottom half of my hair and only left at that bottom half color. Just so you guys know. Because I definitely did not talk about it. So the color for the most part is stripped on that underneath part. So you kind of see like where it's lighter. So I'm gonna, you shouldn't blow dry your hair, but I'm gonna do it because I'm too busy to wait until my hair dries so I can do the actual red. Sure. Okay, so I'm kind of nervous because I got the medium copper and the light copper blonde, like cream permanent hair dye. Um, I also got this like intense red hair dye, and I don't know. It made it pink. I mean, it's not gonna come out pink, but the actual like components of it's like made for copper hair. But adding that red, I hope it doesn't like mess up the color that I want. I look like I just murdered somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower and wash my body first and then take out my hair in like 20 minutes. But ooh, my fingers burn because <laughs> I didn't use gloves. <laughs> Don't do it guys, it's not worth it. Okay, so it's not dry yet, it's still kind of wet. But I already knew that I was gonna get hot roots. Um, Sure, my underneath took the color because you know it was lighter. Kind of see that's still wet. But the rest of my hair is still pretty dark. Um, because I did not get to bleach the top of my hair because I ran out of bleach. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get more bleach, bleach my top section, and then re dye it again. Um, and then hopefully it'll lift enough to be 
even. I'm just gonna have to buy more stuff. Okay, okay. so it's been a few days, like a week almost since I last touched my hair. I ran out of bleach um, to do the top half of my hair, so my hair on top didn't come out as white. Um, my bottom came out okay, um, but as you can see, there's like some striping going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bleach the dark parts again. Um, I'll probably touch up this part a little bit, and then I haven't done this section yet of the side, and then my top half. Um, so I have a little bit of bleach left um, for my old big pack, and then I bought two new one ounce packs, and then I had two Ion Brilliance bleach packs that I didn't know I had last time. So I have four packs of bleach, four and a half black packs of bleach, so hopefully that's enough to get through the rest of my hair. And then we're gonna re-dye it. And hopefully it comes out right this time. I also did trim my ends um, because my hair was dead on this layer. So I just trimmed it a little bit. I took off about just like an inch, an inch and a half of hair. Um, so that's my ends. And then yeah, so we're gonna do that. All right, so I'll show you guys what I bought this time around. I bought gloves, that way my hands aren't dead. Um, because my nails are still dyed slightly. And then, this time around I bought four boxes of hair dye. I had two medium coppers, one light copper, and one medium copper, or sorry, where's that? One medium intense red blonde. So all four of these together, should give me the color that I want. I bought two more of the quick whites and I do have a little bit left in this bag still. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna mix um, these three in together into that bowl so I have a big bowl to work with. And yeah, this is not at all a tutorial by the way. I should have disclaimer that in the beginning, but I'm not a professional. I don't know how to do hair. Um, I literally just like to try on error on my hair. So hopefully my hair doesn't fall off today. Um, we're going to be using a 30 volume developer for the bleach and a 20 volume developer for the dye. Um, I also have foils to keep the top half of my hair away from the bottom half of my hair so the bottom half doesn't get any more bleach on it. Okay y'all, so I went through the first round of bleach and this side's pretty light so I'm going to leave like the top side of this pretty much alone. But I am going to do the bleach bath next just to get like the remaining like dark spots out that the bleach is just not picking up. I mix my concoction, my, co my, huh? my concoction. Um, I did uh, one ounce of bleach, one ounce of, well I did half ounce of 10 volume developer and half ounce 30 volume developer so that way it made like a, a 20. And then I um, added shampoo to it so it's a little soapy. I'm going to add that to my hair. And let's just, you know, hope for the best. I have my gloves on, so I'm just gonna start on the bottom. Um, lightly going through this part because my bottom is, I don't think it's gonna be able to take much more bleach, honestly. And I'm really gonna try to get it as close to the root as possible without actually putting it in my root. So I'm getting a lot and just kind of like I probably shouldn't do that because my hair is really fragile right now because the cuticle is open. Um, and I wash my hair with warm water. This is how light I was able to get it. Um, it's not even still, but like you can see it's a little lighter on this side. But I don't care. I'm just gonna die over it and hope for the best. I already mixed my colors, so I'm gonna do that. <coughs> um, it came out like pink again because I had one of like the intense red ones. <coughs> but it does come out as like the color. So, <coughs> sorry. But I'm gonna put this all over my head and we're gonna hope for the best. So, 
need my gloves on. I'm also gonna get Vaseline over around the edges of my hair so it does not get messy. There's one. And there's two. Um, see I have like this like stripe edge still going on because I didn't I didn't bleach to a part and I should have, but I was scared that my ends were gonna break off. It's okay, underneath my hair, it's not like it's important, so. Um, I'm just gonna stop the color on, honestly. I know it looks pink, but trust me, you guys, it does turn um, like the color that I want. So, yep, just gonna start with the ends first, and then I'll do my roots after. Okay, guys, so I did my makeup um, and I finished my hair. My bangs want to freaking work with me today. Um, so, this is my. Jeez. This is my hair. I honestly love it. Um, it's not the most even color. Like, you can see that like, there's like brighter pieces and some darker, but it's okay because I actually like it. I think it gives it more like dimension. It's not even. I keep saying that because it's not even, but I do like it. Um, I think it looks cute. What do you guys think? I did like curl it and I trimmed it a little bit more, so it is a little bit shorter. Yeah. The back, um, you can definitely still see like my roots, my natural roots. Um, but I could not get bleach back there for the life of me. I've tried so many times and every single time I dye my hair, I can never get bleach back there. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, you guys.